in the last video we learned about how to bring columns like recency frequency and monetary on the same scale as well as how to normalize the data before we build k-means clustering model i also showed steps to create a graph uh, related to clusters created using rfm modeling this is the part 4 video of the customer segmentation project series in this video we would see the steps related to identifying optimum number of clusters in k-means clustering using albo method we will also see how to create clusters of customers using unsupervised machine learning method called k-means clustering which is another way of doing customer segmentation hello folks Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So ALBO method involves uh, running the algorithm multiple times over a loop with an increasing number of cluster choice and then plotting a clustering score as a function of the number of clusters. When k increases, the centroids are closer to uh, cluster centroids. Okay, so the improvement will decline at some point rapidly, creating the elbow shape. And that is the whole reason uh, this method is called as elbow method because it generates a graph which is in uh, the shape of elbow. And we are going to see that plot in a short while. So we take the count of a cluster at the point where this elbow is bending. So first I'm importing uh, this class called k means class from sklearn dot cluster and then I'm defining a dictionary called sum of square distance which will hold inertia attribute values to identify the sum of squared distances of samples to the nearest cluster center next we are using for loop for every number of clusters from 1 to 5 and as k increases the sum of squared distance tends to zero inside for loop we defined k means here and here argument n underscore cluster is the number of clusters to form as well as number of centroids to generate and right now we assigned the value k for this argument then there is a next argument called init which determines the method for initialization here we assigned it a value called k means plus plus which is also a default value which actually selects initial cluster centers for k-mean clustering in order to speed up convergence then next argument is max underscore iter which tells how many iterations k-means algorithm should go for a single run we are keeping its value as thousand here then in order to apply this operation to scaled underscore data data frame we are using a fit method here Next, we are storing inertia attributes values uh, which identifies sum of uh, square distance of samples to the nearest cluster center inside the dictionary called sum of square distance. Below is the plot of sum of square distances for k in the range 1 to 5. The plot looks pretty much like an arm here as you can see. And we take the value of k where this there is a sudden decrease at a specific value of sum of square distances okay since in our case the sum of square distance is dramatically decreasing at k equals to 3 of the elbow of this line so 3 is the optimal value of k in our case so we can say that number of clusters is equals to 3 here now we can build our model since we have found uh, the number of clusters here so in the next cell we are developing our k-means clustering model here by defining uh, n underscore clusters as 3 in it uh, is defined as k-means plus plus and max iter has been assigned a value as 1000 here then we are applying operation on scaled underscore data data set using fit method finally we are creating a new column called cluster in rfm scores data frame this column stores label values from k means underscore cluster hence cluster value for each individual customer when we ran the cell we saw that cluster number is assigned for each customer here as you can see on the right hand side 
so in case of k-means we only have three clusters as against rfm uh, uh, modeling where we had four clusters of platinum gold silver and bronze we can infer that in case of k-means out of four clusters two clusters merge together and remaining two left as it is so bronze and silver group seems to be merged into group number two and you can validate that, uh, that by uh, taking a look at the data set rfm scores data set and uh, that's an assignment for you lastly we are plotting the data points in the form of clusters using matplotlib library so we are creating the scatter plot here as well such that x uh, on x axis uh, we want recency uh, data and for cluster columns and on y axis we want frequency data for cluster column okay so first we are creating a list of colors here and the colors are red blue and green and then we are adding a new column to this rfm scores data frame the new column is color so what it will do is it will assign a specific color to a specific cluster in our case blue is assigned to silver and bronze green is assigned to gold and red is assigned to platinum as you can see here there is a new column right and then when we are creating a scatter plot by defining the kind as scatter x has value recent recency value and y has frequency value and plot dimensions are 10 by 8 so when i ran this cell uh, you can see that uh, the scatter plot created like this and you can see that there are definitely clusters so all the red data points are clustered here green are clustered here blue are also clustered here like we had in uh, rfm modeling plot so folks this is it for this video uh, i hope you like this short uh, uh, customer segmentation series using rfm modeling and k-means so you can share this playlist with your friends and colleagues if you think that they want to go through this content as well so here is today's question uh, what is the name of technique or method using which we can uh, find out the number of optimum clusters k before we train our k-means clustering model please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button down below in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you